station on space to ground. Two spacecraft, thousands of pounds of cargo, one busy crew. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Starting things off, the Russian Progress 64 was first in line to head to station. The cargo craft launched atop a Soyuz rocket from Baikonur, Kazakhstan on July 16th and spent two days chasing down the station. It docked automatically to the pier's docking compartment and delivered about three tons of food, fuel, and supplies to the Expedition 48 crew. Right now, it's scheduled to stick around until 2017, undocking in late January. And right on its heels, the ninth SpaceX resupply mission launched and arrived at station. Dragon launched in the wee hours Monday morning and executed its own two-day rendezvous with the station. Jeff Williams captured the vehicle before handing off to ground controllers who maneuver the vehicle to be bolted to the bottom of the Harmony module. Dragon delivered about 5,000 pounds of cargo, including over 2,000 pounds of science supplies and the first international docking adapter, the entry point for future U.S. commercial crew spacecraft, which will be attached during a spacewalk currently targeted for August. This week, M. Salty asked how many countries are participating in the International Space Station. Great question. Let's see just how international this laboratory is. There are five main space agencies that support station, representing 15 different countries. And since the year 2000, 224 people from 18 countries have visited the orbiting lab. And just to get even more international, 95 different countries have been involved with research being done on board, making science and space a truly global endeavor. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.